So things are as they are. <laughs> and in that, I mean, some people will use the phrase, they are what they are. But we decide what they are. Everything is neutral until we decide to give it meaning. And <laughs> this is so beautiful. So my daughter, Drasana, who is totally not religious, totally kind of anti-spirituality, is just like turned a leaf. <laughs> and so my mom gave her a rosary, right? And then all of a sudden, this is like six months later, she wants to start wearing it. It's so beautiful. And initially, my thought was, well, that's kind of sacrilegious. Immediately, my definition, based on my mother's definition, came to my awareness. Like, oh, she wouldn't approve of that. And all I could think of is flashbacks of Madonna wearing the rosary around her neck and my mother's uh, judgment and criticism of it. But all things are made new. And it's about integrating many, many different energies into one. God is inclusive, not exclusive, integrated, not separated. So my daughter, Dursana, is giving her perspective and her meaning and energy to what the rosary means to her and obviously enlightening me along the way. So I told her that I sent her a message saying, yes, you are. I said, I keep telling her. She keeps asking for it because I put it away because she wanted nothing to do with it. And then she wants it. So I, I took it out and I gave it to her. And I'm like, Drasana, it's a rosary. It's not a necklace. Drasana, it's a rosary, not a necklace. Because she keeps asking for the necklace, which makes sense for someone who maybe didn't grow up uh, saying the rosary like me, <clears throat> like I did. So it hit me that she is deciding what it means to her. And the rosary represents devotion to mother, to divine feminine, to mother Mary. So I told her this morning, I'm like, Drasana, you are giving <clears throat> the rosary uh, a new, a new meaning, how it fits you and your soul's growth and your journey. I said, think of it as you are enveloped and hugged with the divine feminine, which is love, unconditional love and compassion, which is what the space of mother Mary holds. So I just felt that was really beautiful and I wanted to share that because so many of us will automatically respond to something that has been embedded in our cellular memory. And it's so beautiful how it's inclusive. Everything, every perception <clears throat> is now flowing in love. And even my runs, like someone could typically say, oh, you need to meditate or you need to go to synagogue, church, temple to connect to God. But running for me is that devotion to speaking, communicating with my higher self, with that flow, with that uh, flow, with no resistance. So even my runs take on a different meaning as well. Yeah, it, it keeps me healthy, alive, blood pumping, <laughs> breathing. <clears throat> but simultaneously, it is my act of meditation. And that is so beautiful how we are freeing ourselves from the limitations of <clears throat> thoughts and beliefs created before us, but yet we're taking those same thoughts and beliefs created before us and expanding them and infusing them with our light, with our awareness, with our perception, with that spark, with that new version of what we are becoming. <clears throat>